Step one for sewing your chill make tie is be prepared. Make sure you have your instructions and your fabric. And make sure you read them. Note on here it says that your tablespoon of beads, pick up later. You're only going to get these when you need it. Okay, here we go. First thing you're going to do is you're going to read your instructions. And it says make sure your strip is four inches wide. So from here to here, four inches. By 42 to 44 inches long, you'll trim it to make it match your neck. Just note, if you got the fabric from me, it is the right size. Okay, part two, press it flat. If you notice, my fabric has all sorts of wrinkles in it and creases. Those are going to cause problems for sewing later. So you're going to want to take it over to the ironing board and iron it flat. Now you've come over to the iron board, you have your fabric, you're going to lay it here on the board nice and flat. And then, if you're not sure the iron's hot, just put your hand above it, heat rises, you can feel heat rise. Please don't ever touch the iron. You're going to take the iron, you're going to stick it on here. And you're going to kind of slowly move it back and forth to press out those wrinkles so they are no longer there. If they're stubborn and they're not coming out, you can press this button here with a cloud. And it'll actually shoot some steam out. Steam relaxes your fabric a little bit and will actually allow the wrinkles to come out. There we go. Right there is good. I'm going to flip it. So I can do the other side. Maybe add a little bit of steam. If there's a really stubborn wrinkle, feel free to hold it here for a few seconds. Not too many, or it might end up burning. But if you are good, there we go. Leave it on its base. And we're all ironed and ready for our next step. Okay, we have ironed the wrinkles out of our fabric. We're going to do part three now, which is fold the fabric in half lengthwise with the right sides touching. You can do the press in place, or if you can pin real well, you can jump straight to pin. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at your fabric. And you can go, oh, those are pretty dragonflies on yellow. And then you can look at the other side and go, well, I can't really tell those are dragonflies on yellow anymore. Kind of, but it's not near as clear and easy to see. This is the right side. The side that we want to see in the end. This is the wrong side. It will be on the inside where no one can see it. If you have a solid colored fabric, you probably don't need to worry about that too much. Okay, so you could iron it in half with the right sides touching. Or you can go straight to pinning. Grab your lovely pin cushion and your fabric. So you can see the wrong side here, right side. What we're going to do is we're going to take our fabric and we're going to fold it together here. And here's the key thing. You are the boss of the fabric. You're going to take these edges. You're going to line them up right here. You're the boss. Make them line up. If they're off like this, just grab this edge. Pull it up. Match it. Then you're going to grab a pin. And remember to pin. You go down through the fabric. You turn, you stab through again, try not to hit yourself, and there we go. Make sure the pin head is off here on the edge so it's perpendicular to this edge of the fabric, because this edge is where we're going to sew. And you're going to come down to your next one. So you're going to grab this edge, you're going to pull it, make sure it matches, and we're going to add another pin. General rule of thumb, about a hand width apart is where you're going to want your pins. Go down through turn and come right back out. Repeat.
once you're done, double check. Look down the whole length of your th fabric. Make sure the entire raw edge, by the way, raw edge is this bit that frays. Make sure that whole edge lines up good the whole way down. If it does, you've successfully completed step one. Check.